Hello everyone, this is Devin Adams again, and uh, I can't believe I'm actually doing a bonus video this recently, but I, I just had to. It is so painful watching these, these uh, images, right, import into GNS3 through the GUI. It, it takes a long time, and I just don't have the patience for it. So, uh, here you go. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can speed up the process of importing images and ISOs into GNS3 by using FileZilla. So, uh, GNS3, let me pull up the, the virtual machine here. So, GNS3... Let me get to my, my settings. Has a couple of adapters here. So there's one that's host only, and there's another one that's natted for, for internet access. So this host only is accessible through your, your Windows machine that you have GNS3 installed on. So uh, what we're going to do here is use something like FileZilla, and we are going to SSH into the GNS3 box so we can upload those images lightning fast. So um, first thing you're going to want to do, if you want to do this, now if, if this is just far beyond anything you guys want to deal with, uh, you can just upload them through the GUI. Uh, just letting you know you don't have to do it this way, but if you click within GNS3 and kind of hit enter a couple of times, you'll, you'll wake it up. You'll get a menu that looks like this. Okay. If you go to display VM information, you're going to have the IP address of the GNS3 server. So on my box, it looks like it's 192.168.152.129. And then the uh, username is going to be GNS3 and the password is going to be GNS3. And it says images and projects are located in OTP GNS3. So, okay, great. So go to your favorite website if you don't have it. Uh, I personally like Nine Nights. If you guys have never been to Nine Nights before, it's a great website to, to download software. Get yourself the clients of FileZilla. Uh, let me go ahead and just load it up here. All right. Do, 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 do. All right. Where are you, FileZilla? I know you're hiding somewhere here. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Come on, buddy. Where are you at? Oh my gosh. So sorry, guys. <laughs> it was way off in the corner. So okay, here we go. So uh, let's go ahead, and this is FileZilla, and let's go ahead and make a, a quick connection. As you can tell, I've I've done this before. So I'll go to new site. And I'll just call this thing uh, 192.168. I already forgot because it's awesomely late. F 152. All right. 152. And to 129. Don't forget, it's going to be port 22. Okay. The protocol is going to be SFTP. And you're going to have a normal password, and it's going to be GNS3, GNS3, there we go. And I recommend that uh, you, you do it through here so you can save it, right? So let's go ahead and hit OK, and we'll drop down and connect. This is uh, the SSH king, we'll hit OK, and we are in. All right, excellent. So if you remember, uh, if you come back to the, the VM, it says images and projects are located in opt GNS3. So let's go ahead and get there. So I'm going to backtrack here until I get to the root. All right, there's opt, there's GNS3, and oh, there are our images, QEMU. And those are the ones that I've uploaded already. So once again, instead of taking the painful task of, of importing these things individually, you can now come over to wherever you you had yours. So mine was, let's see here, that was a big dingling. Users, uh, Devin, downloads, there we go. So we have things like Windows 7. And I got these images, by the way. I got these images, by the way, um, when I went through the uh, 
uh, templates, right, in the GUI, and it said download. So that's why I have them downloaded already from the internet ahead of time. But as you can see here, it is getting there a whole lot faster than through the GUI. All right, so I'm also going to do the same for Windows 8. Why? Because I'm here, <laughs> right? Um, I'm also going to do it for, um, uh, what else do we got here? Uh, there we go. Maybe if we want Windows 10. All right, boom. There we go. And once again, all of these are from importing them in. Um, I can even, do I have PFSense downloaded already? I don't know if I do. So I got an ISO folder. See, ISO, yay. I'll hold off on that one though. So just because I need to double check it. But once again, guys, this is just to show you right if you don't want the the painstaking um you know task of just watching it go through the the gui individually you can put them here and the next time that you fire up gns3 and you go to import that image you'll see that windows 7 or windows 8 or windows 10 is already ready to install so um that is it guys so there's a little bonus for you to help speed this process along and i'll see you in the next video when we actually import these images into gns3 thanks a lot